And so when you think about the impacts that AI is going to have in the workforce uh, over the next five years, I mean, what would you say are sort of some of the biggest positive impacts? I think we heard a little bit about that in, in your intro here in that intro video. Um, but if you were to really like, you know, look this out five, 10 years, what are sort of those biggest positive impacts? And then what are some of your biggest concerns? So I think it'd be exciting. Massive upside with a little bit of downside that needs to be acknowledged as well. But already today, every knowledge worker can get a meaningful productivity boost by using generative AI. Um, part of the challenge is though, most people will need a little bit of training to know how to use AI responsibly and safely. But generative AI is impactful for, I think, pretty much all knowledge work today. Um, uh, but the training, the, the societal challenge of upskilling a lot of people to use these tools will be significant. I know people are appropriately worried about AI taking away jobs, um, but it turns out that for most jobs, AI can automate only a small fraction of their work. And so training people to, to use AI will be the main goal. There is a very small number of jobs that maybe AI will fully automate, and I don't want to minimize the, the suffering or the impact or our responsibility to make sure people are taken care of. I think the number of jobs you know, that will entirely go away is probably much smaller than most people think. Having said that, it is really impactful on, on the individual, and I think we owe it to them to provide the opportunity to upskill and keep on learning and keep on contributing to society as well.